Head in your hands as usual. You will fret your life out sitting moping in the dark. Come, it's supper time. I will not sup tonight. Not sup? You will never live to be a saint? A saint? The devil has me by the heel. So has he all saints. As a boy his kite, whichever struggles higher for his hold. There's a silly devil to gripe so hard. He should let go his hold, and then he has you. If you'll not come, I'll leave the light with you. Hark to the chorus, Brother Stephen sings. The song is hardly to your taste, I see. Where shall I set the light? I do not need it. Come, come, the dark is a hotbed for fancies. I wish you were at table were it only to stop the chattering that they hold about you. You in the dark are talked of in the light. Well, brother, let them talk. It hurts not me. No, but it hurts your friend to hear them say you will be thought a saint without the trouble. You do no penance that they can discover. You keep shut up, say some, eating your heart, possessed with a bad conscience, the worst demon. You are a prince, say others, hiding here till circumstance that bound you set you free. Tonight there are some whispers of a lady that would refuse your love. Hi, what of her? I've heard no more than so, and that you came to seek the next best service you could find. Turned from the lady's door and knocked at God's. Well, one part at least is true. I knock at God's. He has not yet been pleased to let me in. As for the lady, that is so far true, but matters little. Had I less to do, this talking might annoy me. As it is, why let the wind set there if it pleases it? I keep indoors. <laughs> Gloomy as usual, brother. Brooding on fancy's eggs. God did not send the light that hour on hour gladdened the earth, flashed from the snowy peak, and on the spire transformed the weathercock into a star, that men should gloom within stone walls all day. At dawn tomorrow, take your staff and come. We will salute the breezes as they rise from off their lofty peaks, laden with odours of melting snow and fresh damp earth and moss, imprisoned spirits which life-waking spring lets forth in vapour through the genial air. Come, we will see the sunrise. See the light leap from his chariot on the loftiest peak, and thence descend triumphant step by step down to the vale below. Free air and action will soon dispel these vapours of the brain. My friend, if one should tell a homeless boy, there is your father's house, go in and rest. Through every open room the child would go, timidly looking for the friendly eye, fearing to touch, scarce daring even to wonder at what he saw until he found his sire. But gathered to his bosom, straight he is the heir of all, he knows it midst his tears. And so with me, not having seen him yet, the light rests on me with a heaviness. All beauty seems to wear a doubtful look. A voice is in the wind I do not know. A meaning on the face of the high hills whose utterance I cannot comprehend. A something is behind them, that is God. These are his words, I doubt not, language strange. These are the expressions of his shining thoughts. And he is present, but I cannot find him. I have not yet been held close to his heart. Once in his inner room, and by his eyes acknowledged, I shall find my home in these, mid sights familiar as a mother's smiles, and sounds that never lose love's mystery. Then they will comfort me. Lead me to him. See, there is God revealed in human form. Alas, my friend, revealed but as in nature. I see the man, I cannot find the God. I know his voice is in the wind, his presence is in the Christ. The wind blows where it listeth, and there is manhood glorified. But God is there, not here. You understand me not. Without my need you cannot know my want. 
tonight you will be puzzling to determine with which of the old heretics to class me. But you are honest. Will not rouse the cry against me. I am honest too. For proof such as will satisfy a monk, look here. Is this a smooth belt, brother? And look here. Did one week scourging seem my side like that? Oh, I'm ashamed to speak thus, and to show such hidden things. But in my heart I love you and cannot bear but you should think me true. Let it excuse my foolishness. They talk of penance. Let them talk when they have tried, and find it has not even unbarred heaven's gate. Let out one stray beam of its living light, nor humbled that proud eye that knows not God. I know you are my friend. If you should find this cell is empty some day, do not fear that any ill has happened. Well, perhaps to a better you should go. I cannot help you. But I can keep your secret. God be with you. Oh, man, a good man. But he has not waked and seen the Sphinx's stony eyes fixed on him. God veils it. He believes in Christ, he thinks. And so he does, as possible for him. How he will wonder when he looks for heaven. He thinks me an enthusiast because I seek to know God and to hear his voice speak to my heart in silence. As of old, the Hebrew king, when still upon his bed, he lay communing with his heart. And God, with strength in his soul, did strengthen him till he in his light saw light. God will speak to men. My soul leans towards him, stretches forth its arms and waits expectant. Speak to me, my God, and let me know the living Father cares for me, even me, for this one of his children. Hast thou no word for me? I am thy thought. God, let thy mighty heart beat into mine, and let mine answer as a pulse to thee. See, I am low, yea, I am very low. But thou art high, and thou canst lift me up to thee. a child, a fool before thee, God. But thou hast made my weakness as my strength. I am an emptiness for thee to fill, my soul a cavern for thy sea. I lie diffused, abandoning myself to thee. I will look up if life should fail in looking. Ah oh, me. A stream cut from my parents' spring. Ah, me. A life lost from its father life. <sighs>